What's up, guys? Zach Reininger. You ever get those uh, Facebook, uh, like, anniversary reminders? Um, could be memories, you know? Uh, sometimes they're like 10, 11 years ago, and it's a photo of you, and uh, you know, you're with all your buddies, and you're drinking beer, and you look like crap, and maybe you're eating Taco Bell at 2 a.m. in the morning, and... It's not such a great reminder of an anniversary or a memory that you wanted. Uh, maybe that's just me that some of those things happen where you're like, damn, I wish I wouldn't have put that out there back then. You know, but sometimes you also get the reminders or the anniversaries that make you think or make you stop, right? Um, sometimes it's like a picture of you and a friend from a long time ago. Like, God, that was a lot of fun. You know, maybe it's you and your, your spouse. And it's like, ah, I remember that trip. Uh those anniversaries and reminders can be pretty awesome. And I had one just two days ago. And it was the, the anniversary or memory of a video I did a year ago. And this was actually a video that some people were really nervous and like worried about me. Like I had multiple people reach out and be like, are you okay, bro? Like everything okay? Um, and the video was, I, I, I called it, I'm going to beat the old Zach to death sharing the things that I'm doing to try and recreate myself. And if you want to try and recreate with me, that's awesome. Let's do it. But I am going to beat the old Zach to death. I have to beat him to death. I have to beat him to death by doing hard things. I have to beat him to death by doing the shit I don't want to do. I have to beat him to death by changing how I think. I have to beat him to death by raising my standards higher than they've ever been. And that's scary and it's hard and I don't want to do it. And maybe that was a little dramatic at the time. I don't know. But the whole point of the video was it was it was sort of my commitment to this to commitment to videos. It was the day that I pretty much said, like, I'm, I'm in. I have a lot of value to add. There's a lot of things that I want to share. I made all my social media public which I've never done. Hell, I hadn't even posted anything on a lot of social media since like 2017, Instagram, things like that. Um, and so this was a year ago that I made this video. And the whole reasoning behind was, is like I was going to completely reshape who I am. I'm going to completely reshape how I communicate. I wanted to lean into more video and doing messaging and talking to people because I love this stuff. And I really wanted to lean into sharing my discomfort. And I'm saying and a lot in this video. It's been very interesting to me to look back, and this is the point of this video, is looking back to see how far we've come. There's uh, actually a really fantastic book called The Gap and the Gain. It's written by Dan Sullivan and I think uh, Dr. Ben Hardy. Dan Sullivan is a master, by the way, if you've never read any of his stuff. But The Gap and the Gain talks about the concept of, you know, we, as, we tend to look forward and, and see the gap between where we are today and where we want to be versus looking backward at the gain of who we used to be and where we are today. And I am super freaking guilty of this. I have a lot of focus on the future, where I want to be, what I'm trying to accomplish, where I want to go, what, what it looks like. And I tend to not look back at how, how far we've come. So this video, when it popped up and I looked at it, I was like, oh man, it's been a year since I kind of committed to doing this. I, I kind of want to look and do an audit and see how far I've come. What have we done? Let's take inventory. And it was really interesting to me to do this. Um, you know, across the, at least in my Facebook group and on YouTube, in the last year I've done over 77 videos. I've got a couple more that I've recorded that are not posted, so I'm not counting those when I say over. 77 videos across those two platforms. Um, I only started YouTube nine months ago, and you know I've got I've done at least one video a week there, which I'm super proud of that the consistency, right? Um, I only have like 167 subscribers, which but I I think that's pretty awesome. I'm kind of excited about that. Uh, almost 7,500 views in nine months on 37 videos. Pretty cool. I mean, when I start thinking about like, oh, I'm touching all these different points. Okay. Um, I mean, I've done numerous podcasts since then, and I and, and I can't even quantify the amount of hours that I have spent trying to learn and adapt 
And I mean, it, it's, we're talking hundreds, if not thousands of hours at this point in the last year of learning and growing and being super uncomfortable. And that is, uh, that is something that I think I'm probably the most proud of where I'm at today. I am, when you want to talk gap and gain, my stuff still sucks. My videos suck. I have a webcam, a $50 microphone, and that's it. You know, like I, 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 there's so many things that I want to do and I envision and everything that I want to accomplish with this. But the point of this is, is I'm proud of how far I've come. I know I have a very long way to go, but I made a commitment at that time that I was going to post at least weekly and that I was going to do this for five years, which sounds insane, right? And I'm still extremely uncomfortable with it. I'm still getting more, more, I guess, used to the discomfort of all the things that I'm sharing and trying to learn social media things and sharing there. Um, but it is, it is kind of cool to me to look back at where I started with just like my iPhone, terrible audio, you know, nothing, I had nothing. And it's still like in here, I have awful lighting. You know, I have an office that has tons of windows, which on one hand is amazing, right? Like I love the lighting, but it makes for really shit lighting for videos. The sun's coming in and out. It's throwing all this off. The webcam can't keep up. My computer gets bogged down. There's a ton of videos that I have where my voice doesn't match the video because it's lagging because my equipment sucks. But if I, if I apply the gap and the gain, it's super cool to me because I look back at where I started and what I was doing. And I feel like I should be way further along, right? Like I, I feel like I've accomplished nothing. I feel like I'm, I've gone nowhere. I've done nothing. But if I can stop and look back, it's like, oh, well, I mean, uh, I'll, I'll approach, I'll have over a hundred videos in the next few months. You know, there's all this like, oh, I didn't realize I was doing all of that. It's also fun to go back and look at the videos and see what it, they were then versus now. And so my encouragement on this video is, is, Take a step back and, and think about the, the version of you a year ago, two years ago, three years ago, five, ten years ago, compared to who you are today. And if you can't look back like a year ago or a couple years ago and say that you're a completely different person and you've grown and you've changed, you've done so many different things to get better, this isn't all about accomplishments, right? It's not about like, oh, you're making more money here or you're doing this. Like, No, it's like growth. If you can't look back and, and see a difference, if you can't look back and say, Dude, like Zach of five years ago would be freaking blown away at who I am today. Not what I have, but who I am, who I've become. And I know the Zach of a year ago would be surprised at where I'm at today and who I am and what I've grown. And so how can you look at your situation? How can you reframe certain things today? Because it's super easy where we always sit here and think about, God, I'm nowhere close to where I want to be. Or, or shit, things are hard right now. They're hard. Yeah, but like, dude, the, I'm, I am doing things today that I dreamed about years ago. Like I was, I couldn't wait to get to where I am today. So why can't I be grateful for today, but still aware that I want more and I'm going to keep pushing for that. And that's the whole concept of this gap and gain. And it's a, it's a great book. Highly recommend it. Again, Dan Sullivan, Benjamin Hardy. Benjamin Hardy's books, by the way, are amazing. He's great. Great follow. Uh, as usual, some of my videos get long and ramble. I do need uh, probably some editing, guys. That's another step that I'm trying to work on. Um, I'm going to get better at that. I'm going to try and be more concise. I'm going to try some new edits. I'm going to do a few different things because it makes me uncomfortable. And I'm leaning into that discomfort because it's the only freaking way we're going to grow. And I'm sharing this video not as a pat me on the back. Oh, look what I've done. This is me celebrating myself. This is me celebrating a year of, hey, I actually stuck to it and I'm doing more and I'm going to keep doing more for at least another four years. And if at that point I don't like what's happening or it's not doing what I want it to do or where we're going, then I'll stop. But I'm playing the long game and I'm going to have a lot of, a lot of frame of reference to look at the gap and the gain to really look at this stuff. And as I got that Facebook reminder, it made me think about, okay, let's see where we're at. And I wanted to share it with you guys because I appreciate you coming on the journey with me. Here's to, to many more videos and many more years. Thanks for hanging out with me. I love you guys. Talk to you soon.